Speedy B Configurator app. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and in this video, it basically the most important thing is I want you to know that there is such a thing as the Speedy B Configurator app so that you can uh, quickly and easily change the configurator settings on your drone, like if you're running uh, Betaflight and some other flight controller, uh, flight firmware as well. I'm not totally sure though, because I've just been using Betaflight. But uh, you can easily change the settings in your drone. That could be the rates, that could be uh, the, 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 the control things, the, the other things. I don't know, I should have thought about that before I started talking. But you get what I'm saying. Uh, if you've used the Betaflight configurator, that's basically what this is. Um, in a mobile format and it's made by Speedy B. So Speedy B is not sponsoring this video. I just really like the app that they made uh, and that's pretty much it. So there you go. There's your bottom line. And hey, this video is sponsored by guess who? PCB Way because PCB Way makes custom printed circuit boards. That's what PCB stands for. And they have thousands of options to choose from like a friggin' ton, uh, to put it in a technical manner. And they have a service where they will take all those tons of components that you need and put them on uh, a board uh, to your specifications uh, for according to your design. They can actually assemble it, build it, test it, and then send it right to your door, which is pretty cool. But if you don't like PCB stuff, they also offer rapid prototyping services to include sheet metal bending, CNC machining, injection molding, and my favorite, 3D printing. So if you're working on a project and uh, you don't have access to that kind of equipment to make those prototypes, you might want to check out PCBWay.com. And I'll have a link to them down in the description below this video. So I'm not going to show you any magical stuff, but uh, I just want to show you basically how this works. So you will need uh, an OTG connector cable that's on the go as what that stands for. And basically that makes it so that you can connect your phone to other USB devices. So basically like instead of connecting your flight controller to a computer, you're connecting it to your phone, which is a computer but we don't call them that, we call them phones, so that's weird. Uh, so what you're gonna do is connect your, in this case it's a USB-C, uh, USB-C, we're gonna connect that up to our flight controller, right there, okay? And then we're gonna connect this up to our phone. And actually first, let's just go ahead and get into the Speedy B app. So Speedy B, boom, there we go. We are in the app, and then we're gonna connect it up. You'll see on the top left side, it's, um, there's a, uh, or I guess top right side, uh, it'll say STM32 serial driver. I guess they both say that. I don't know why there's two of them. Uh, and it lights up green. And so now we know that we're connected. Also, the drone is getting power as well. Um, and in some cases, uh, depending on how your flight controller is set up, you might have power to your uh, uh, receiver as well so that you can, can check, you can check your um, transmitter uh, connection uh, without having to power on uh, the drone with like a flight battery. But in some cases you may need to use a flight battery, but of course use caution when you are changing configurator settings and you have the flight battery connected. You should really take off your propellers or disable them uh, in some way. So we're gonna click on um, the serial driver and that's, that's how we're gonna connect here with a wired connection. And I recommend that because um, trying to do Bluetooth, you can do it with certain uh, you know flight controllers, but it tends to be even more finicky. And if this isn't working for you, try changing the, the, you know, the order of connecting the cables and stuff. So sometimes things are just weird. Uh, so we're gonna click on that uh, to log or to, to get in here. You don't have to log in or create an account or anything like that. And here's our main page. You can see we've got the um, accelerometer uh, calibration option right there. And then it shows you know, kind of a model of our drone. So that's good. I mean, that might be helpful right there just to know that everything's working like it should, you know, left is left, right is right, up is down and whatnot. Um, and then if we actually wanna do anything else, we need to get into uh, expert mode. So we'll tap on expert mode down at the bottom. And then this is, you know, pretty much just like what we see in our beta flight configurator, you know, on the computer. Um, we got this uh, setup page right here, which gives us some information. Some information won't show up at all because we don't have a battery connected. So like it's saying we it's, it's point, uh, zero 0.04 volts. Um, so that's obviously, that would be a problem if we had a battery connected, but we don't, so it's fine. But anyway, you got all these pages here. Now down at the very bottom on the left, you see a little like hamburger, hamburger bar, they call it. The little three lines stacked up. Um, and that'll expand the menu, which is great. Uh, cause then you can actually see what, you know, the full name of all of the, uh, 
the different options there uh, in that drop down menu. So we've got the setup page. We've got the ports, or uh, excuse me, no, uh, first we have the uh, presets, actually, is what that is, presets. I haven't really messed around with presets very much. It's kind of a newer-ish thing. Uh, but we do have the ports. This is, this is very important when you're setting up your receiver or, um, well, particularly your receiver. Uh, and all that stuff, making sure you have the ports set up correctly. Um, we're going to go down into the modes. This is a big deal as well, making sure you have all your switches working correctly. That's fantastic. They have all the different options. Uh, I don't I don't know that there are any options that this does not have that the beta flight that the full app does have. Um, but if you do know, you know, let us know, leave a comment uh, here in the receiver. We've got our uh, receiver uh, the signal bars right there so we can check um, to make sure everything's working right and all the channels are uh, doing what they're supposed to do. Um, so yeah, the full, the full thing. And then let's see. So this preview here, just so you know, this preview does not, it doesn't correspond to you turning the drone like by, um, by hand. This is your inputs on the, uh, transmitter. Uh, so let's go down to the next one. We got motors. This is a really useful one. You can reorder the motors and it's so easy. Now there's like a little wizard. Um, let's see, let's just do reorder motors. I actually, I don't actually want to reorder the motors. And then they're saying, Hey, take your props off. Um, let's just see. Can I start this? I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. But it's really easy to reorder the motors and the motor direction as well. Uh, there's like a little wizard to help you uh, to say, hey, if it's spinning this way and you need to change the spinning, then you know tap on that. But I can't do that right now because I don't have a battery connected. But it's super easy, uh, which is great. Um, and you can change your ESC features. All this different stuff. You can do do your motor sliders. Going down configuration, you can change your uh, gyro update frequencies, paid loop frequencies, your name. All this, you know, all this stuff. If you if you're familiar with Betaflight, you're familiar uh, with this, and it just makes it so easy to be able to connect to this. You don't have to bring a laptop, and you don't have to do stick commands. And I think if you're doing DJI digital, you cannot do stick commands. I hope I'm wrong about that, but. As far as I know, you, you're not able to. If, if, the, if that's changed, let me know in the comments. Uh, and then, of course, our PIDs and our rates. That's really important. So <clears throat> if you're doing some PID tuning, this can be really great to just change some uh, settings. Of course, also make sure you do hit save at the bottom if you are changing uh, settings. Hit that uh, save at the bottom uh, right to make sure it actually applies the settings. Um, the rates, I think, would be one of the most important things because then this way, when you're out, uh, you, can, you can dial in your rates uh, very quickly, um, you know, probably just in like a couple packs by just hooking it up to here, changing a couple things, uh, very, very handy. And that's going to be probably what you're going to need most likely. You probably won't need to fiddle with your, uh, PIDs, but, uh, you may need to fiddle with your rates. Uh, and then we've got the OSD. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit trickier on here, a little more clunky. Uh, you don't have as much like kind of space, um, as the, uh, as the full version. Um, and then you've got this little expansion arrow thing at the bottom left to get, to give you more space like on the screen. So that's kind of weird. You definitely want to have your goggles on, um, as you are, um, changing like everything powered on as you're changing the OSD because, uh, it can show up differently in your goggles and it shows up here on the screen. We've got our, uh, VTX, uh, VTX option here attention vtx is not configured or supported and that's true because i don't have um i don't have a vtx situation uh on here I'm, I'm using the uh dji digital not a standard vtx or analog vtx um power and battery you got your power and battery not a whole lot right there uh you get your fail safe again usually you don't need to change these things but if you do it's there fail safe and then and typically you know that's set to drop uh, for FPV drones is typically the safest thing uh, because you kind of just know what's going to happen, which can be important, but there are other options. And then we have adjustments. I haven't really messed around with this very much, um, but you could, it, it can get kind of confusing, but it's pretty neat though, because you can do, you can do specific, uh, like very specialized things of like when you flip this switch, but then this switch is not flipped, then it does this thing. But that could also get super confusing, so do do keep that in mind. And then we've got uh, GPS, if you need to configure your GPS and stuff. Uh, and then 
Where's the CLI? Okay, and then at the top left, you see there's a little like folder with a gear icon. If we click on that, that's gonna be, we can, we can back up the current configuration. So that's cool. So you see I have some different backups from different drones. Um, so that's nice. So that's kind of how you save your settings. Like if you wanna save them before you change other settings. And you may have noticed that one thing that it did not have that the full beta flight version does have uh, or beta flight configurator has is the command line interface where you can type in commands um, instead of having to find them in the, you know, in the graphical interface. If that was helpful, uh, please let me know. Or if you have some tips uh, that you'd like to share for other people about using this app or, or if there's even a better app, because it's been a while since I've checked, but this one has been working well for me. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Get out there, fly something, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you again very soon.